What's up guys? So, another day, another Henstridge. Today has been a crazy awesome day. So I've gone from finishing work at 10 o'clock last night to waking up at half four this morning to go skydiving. So this morning at about 10 a.m. I think it was half 10, I was falling from the sky 15,000 feet up there reaching like 120 miles an hour it was one of the best experiences of my life i i can't put it into words how awesome it is um i didn't film any of it because they wanted a hundred and something quid for someone to film you or a hundred quid for someone to just put a gopro on their wrist uh nah i'm good and they wanted 30 quid for just photos but anyway we're going to henstridge now um to do some more speeds and hopefully I can go faster than what I was falling from the sky. That's my plan anyway. That's why I've taken the Ducati instead of... So I took the Ducati last time, it scared the shit out of me. If you haven't seen that video, card up in the corner, go watch it. I want to say I almost died. Some people disagree, but it was fucking close. Uh, then I took the R3 and lost every race pretty much. Um, so I just... Oh, it's the police. No, it's not. Is it the police? No, it's not. Um, decided to take the Ducati. We're going to go meet up with Brad, not on the SV650. This is a different Brad. This is the Brad that is going on the Euro trip with me on his new beast, which you haven't seen yet because the last time you saw him, he was on a Suzuki Bandit. He then sold that. He also had a CRF 250L. Sold that. Bought a Suzuki DRZ400. That then got nicked, um, so he had no bite to take on this Europe trip. So he was like, what do I do? So he got himself on eBay, found a Suzuki GS500 2004, clean as you like. You're, I'll show you when we get to his, well, well not, I won't show you his, but I'll show you, I'll pull over and I'll show you the bike, probably at Henstridge super clean ridiculously clean for 2004 and it was a bidding one and um brad was like look i'll give you 750 quid right now and the guy was like thanks very much but uh i'll wait for the the auction to end brad was like no no worries put in a 750 quid bid nobody bidded he bought this gs 500 for 750 quid and when you see it you will not believe he got it for 750 quid. I thought he had got it for like, I don't know what they go, went for. So I guess three grand, it looks that good. 750 quid, it's mad. Um, I don't know what GoPro, uh, I don't know what SD cards I've got in the GoPro today. Hopefully this one doesn't corrupt all my footage again. Hopefully we're all sound. Um, this is my only GoPro today. I haven't brought one from the back and stuff. Just couldn't be all with, with the hassle of getting all the GoPros, going for all the footage and stuff. So yeah, we are on our way and I'll see you when I'm with Brad. Let's fucking do this. And here we are again. Ah, oh, it's good to be back. There's Brad on the GS. There's a plane. And um, there's all the people. Now, unfortunately, I won't be doing a lot of runs this time. Is that the police? That is the police. Yes, it is. Um, so yeah, I won't be doing a lot of runs today. And that's simply because this bike's rear tire is kaput. Um, I have got some Diablo Rosso, no, Diablo Angel GTs. Um, a Pirelli, I've got some Pirelli Diablo Ross. Ah, no, I haven't. I've got some Pirelli Angel GTs at home, ready to get put on. I've also got a K&N air filter, oil filter, chain and sprocket, all ready to go. Hey, ready, ready to go onto the onto the bike for the Euro trip. <laughs> so I'll probably do a maximum of like two runs today, and that's it. Wait. Uh, park up for a bit. Yeah. Where do you want to park up? 
Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll go over there. We'll go. So there's a little GS500. Look how clean it is. I'm ready. 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 <laughs> Ooh. That's cool. Right, let's do this. There's the GS500. Fucking 750 quid. Look at it. Look how clean that is for 750 quid. It's not fair. It's not fair. But yeah, my rear tyre is um it's gone it's, it's it's yeah it's gone but this is the last time i'll be riding this as i said to the europe trip i gotta put the pretty gts on air filter oil filter all that good stuff chain sprocket we'll get this bad boy off to europe Okay. <laughs> well, that was loud. So my plan is for today, as I said, I've come here. I'll probably do one go on this. Then I'm gonna nick that GS500. Uh, and I got a couple of mates over here. On uh, you've seen videos of them, like me test riding them before. But he said I could have a go. Let's see if there's, if there's any other bikes I can nick. I can't remember what the thing I'll be testing. The other thing, Honda something I've gotten. Look R3 over there. It's got race kit like track fairings for it. But everything else is pretty much exactly like mine. RNG sliders and shit. And the kitty's like fucking 13. It's mad that you can race that class at like that age. And you have to be 19 to have one of them on the road. I cannot lose. If I lose, I will cry. Definitely more people here now that it's a Saturday. Yeah. Remember, if you want to come to one of these, then hit up, look up, search up Henstridge on Facebook. And it's all there for you. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of, I'm more scared now than I was when I was falling out of plane. Like, I wasn't scared at all. Like that sounds really cocky, but jumping out of plane did not scare me. This scares me more because of what happened last time. In, and if you haven't seen what happened last time, go check out the Henstridge, my very first one on the Ducati. <sighs> I'm kind of nervous, and I haven't ridden this bike in a week. Ah? Yeah. Here we go, boys. Not too bad. He's definitely getting a little head start. He needs it. with a gentle start as well. I don't know what I hit. <laughs> yeah, boy! That was a good one. You know what? Fuck this. <laughs> Watch me fall down a ditch now. <laughs> <laughs> I 
like you frogs to be your n- Get one. I love them. They are so, so good. Fun. Yeah. And the front end so it just turns so quick. It, it does, yeah. Be careful when you're wheeling, when it comes down. It, it goes, start, yeah. A bit like last last time I came here, I was doing 120 and just start speed wobbling. Yeah. Big tank yeah. I'm recording. Let's fucking do this. I best smash that fucking thing. <laughs> I should have kept going. I pulled off way too early. Pulled off way too early. Smashed that fucking thing. Smashed it. <laughs> right, let's go see if I can nick some bikes. <laughs> Fuck it out. We're against Tom. He's nicked someone's quad. I've nicked the GS. Brad's GS against a 700cc quad. <laughs> this is gonna be funny. Brad's on my hyper motard. I think he's fucking. I can't believe I'm racing that thing. Let's see if this thing will wheelie. Oh yeah, it wheelies. <laughs> it gets up. It's literally just like the R3, that's what you feel like. <laughs> that thing wheelie is so good. It is Tom riding it though. <laughs> One more. No, one more. It feels just like an R3. It's the same parallel twin, but 500, about 50 horsepower. It gets geared short as well. It's got one down, I think. That thing wraps like a motherfucker. Oh, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> Oh, Tom, I love you. <laughs> You're trying to break it for the Euro. <laughs> it wheelies quite well. Does it? Yeah. Well, I haven't even wrecked this. First gear, clutch it up. And I, I've just realised why I feel so comfortable on it. It's just like the R3. First gear, pop it up, comes up. It's quite good. Try it more often. Yeah, man. Yours is so comfy. Isn't it? I was like, oh. <laughs> Tom's gonna fucking, I think he's gonna try and do a stand up wheelie. I would watch him, like, I would go slow, but I wanna see what this tops out on. I'll compare it to the R3, see what it's like. <laughs> Where's the hyper? There's the hyper. Ooh, the hyper against the Honda. <laughs>
to get a hundred out of the fucking bastard. <laughs> the GoPro is not going to show that. I mean, you fucking wheelie that for far. <laughs> I knew he was going to do that. <laughs> He's fucking hanging off of it. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking bastard! Dick. <laughs> Covered me in that shit, bastard. All right, I'm gonna go down one more time. Everyone's leaving now. <laughs> Good fun, man. Good fun. Catch you later. See you later. Ride safe. Ish. <laughs> Come on, get son, get up. An hour later, finally, we can get out. We had to wait because some planes were coming from France to land and <laughs> planes had to set off and shit, so we had to wait for an hour. All I wanted is one more run. <sighs> That's better. I've got to get better controlling the wheelies on this thing. I'm not quite getting that yet. I started off just doing power wheelies and they were just sketchy. So I've started to clutch it up. Find it. I just gotta find the sweet spot, and then we're good. This guy's got more cameras than I do. He's got one on the back, one on the front, one on his helmet. He's gonna need the one on the back. Cause I'm gonna be far back. I think it's a 750. It's gorgeous. Very similar to the one I took a picture of and put it on my Instagram. Don't you run a YouTube channel, midgets? Yeah, man. <laughs> That's mad. I don't know why everybody doesn't go along here. <laughs> Just cuts half of it out. <laughs> right guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, subscribe, share, like, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs> Good lad. Sometimes I wonder to myself.
Is it really worth all the drama? Is it really worth all the stress? Is it really worth? Sometimes I wonder to myself, is it really worth all the drama?